How's it going guys? My name is Tavarish and I just did something really, really dumb. Now, if you're anything like me and you saw that video, you know the one I'm talking about, the McLaren P1 getting ripped out of its garage by hurricane floodwaters and getting dragged down the street, you got sick to your stomach just as I did. Even in that destroyed state, that car was still my ultimate dream car. Now, when that car went up for sale at auction, I asked you, my audience, if I should put everything on the line and buy it and then rebuild it on my YouTube channel. And the answer is why I'm making this video today. Ladies and gentlemen, I just bought a $2 million McLaren P1 that was destroyed in a flood. And I'm about to go pick it up right now. Now what that means is that I am scared. I'm like legitimately frightened, but I'm also extremely, extremely excited because this is the biggest project on YouTube by any channel when it comes to car rebuilds. And for those of you living under a rock, I'm gonna tell you why the McLaren P1 is so special. It's because the McLaren P1 is more than just a car. It's a timeless piece of art sculpted by the air moving around it. It's a love letter to the internal combustion engine. It's a perfect marriage of science and soul. And to me, it's a reminder that we can all achieve greatness if we're willing to push ourselves to the absolute limit. Despite being unveiled over a decade ago, it's still one of the fastest accelerating cars today. Its 900 horsepower twin turbo V8 hybrid drivetrain gave it a zero to 120 mile an hour time one full second quicker than the Bugatti Veyron Supersport, which had 300 more horsepower and was triple the price. It was a huge gamble to release a car so ahead of its time, but as people scrambled to throw money at McLaren after the car was launched, it seemed like the bet paid off. And I'm not the only one who believes that. While the P1's price started at an already insane $1 million, one search on Auto Tempest will show you that prices for pristine examples are closer to $2 million today. Now I've used Auto Tempest in the past to buy the cheapest cars in the country because it searches every major car listing site at once. But this time, it was super important that I did my research to make sure my P1, even in its terrible shape, was truly the least expensive on earth. So I made sure to search anywhere, entered a few key phrases, and compared with Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace to make sure I wasn't missing any listings. So whether you're window shopping for flooded hypercars, trying to budget for your attainable dream car, or buying your next daily driver, head over to autotempest.com in the link in the video description and find the car you're looking for. Now the car I bought wasn't just any McLaren P1, it was special for some very specific reasons. Number one, it is as close to a museum piece as you can get. It only had 300 miles on it. It was valued somewhere around two to two and a half million dollars. Uh, it was purchased 10 days before the storm hit, and then the storm hit, and it became the most famous or infamous hypercar on the planet. So uh, you can imagine the emotions that are stirring uh, inside me right now. I'm scared, I'm excited. I've never seen the car, so we're gonna have uh, an adventure. And because I don't know my way around these cars in terms of body work and, well, honestly, I, I just wanted a second and third set of eyes, I have my friends with me. I have Jack here and I have Rex, and they are gonna experience this entire ordeal. What do you think about this project? Like, you've seen the project, you saw when the storm hit and you saw this all over the internet. Like, what do you think this is gonna entail? I really don't know what to expect. The bodywork? I mean, it's gonna be a lot of bodywork. There's a lot of damage to that carbon and just, it's gonna be a mystery. We really don't know what we're getting into, right? I mean, well, carbon work is, I mean, that's easy, right? Yeah. 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 I don't know how to do it yet. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> you know what? It's my first time with a P1 too, so if this is a bad idea, don't say anything.
somewhere in there is a McLaren P1. And my, my stomach hurts. My stomach is, oh boy. I am very excited and also extremely nervous. And, oh, this road is, <laughs> this road is not, it's a little shaky, but I think it's probably my, my nerves. Hopefully they let us go in and see the car before we, before we drive it home. Hey, how are you? This is a Ford. This is a this is right here. Mm -hmm. That's a Ford, right? That's a Ford, right? You're looking at right there in the front, right here. You okay. come right next to him, right there. So you're gonna go go on there. Mm -hmm. I come right next to him and park next to the Ford. Do I go into the office anywhere? Because uh, so I'm here to pick up uh, that M McLaren P1. Yeah. And I, yeah. Oh, the background. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. So I want to make sure oh, that they, they don't no. fork it or anything. Uh, go, go, go all the way in the back. Okay. Go in McLaren, go in the back. Okay. Thank you. We're getting VIP treatment. So when you spend. Uh, an insane amount of money on a car. Hot corn. And um, they they let you uh, go into their yard and uh, check out your own car. I haven't been this nervous in a very long time. My whole body is tensed up. Like, <sighs> dude, they what? just gave me a, like a box full of stuff, and this is like the McLaren book you get. With, with a PS4. Dude, it's a PS4. <laughs> and they gave me the they gave me the key. This is really cool. That is like five thousand dollars on eBay. I'm not joking. Sweet. Yeah. That's a really nice thing. That has uh the uh the user manual and the iris handbook and Yeah, this never got wet. Look at look at this. This is the key to the McLaren P1. It's a nice looking key. So I'm gonna press this and then the car is gonna open and then I'm gonna start it up and we can drive it home. Yeah. Honk. So this is their super duper extra special uh, McLaren P1 facility. And uh... here we go. Dude, dude, let's, let's go and see this thing. Man, it smells like the ocean. It smells, it <laughs> smells real bad. Like it's, uh, so um, I think this car and that car had the same owner. They were in the same garage. And uh, this one made it out of the garage and it went into the, into the uh, street. There's debris, broken glass. This is probably when it came out of the garage. Look how low it is. We're gonna, we're gonna have to figure out how to. It's on race mode right now. It, this isn't race mode. It goes lower than that, but oh, yeah. it's uh, there's no. That's gonna be a problem. Got a hole in it. It's got a hole in it. So this is how you connect the charger, right here, right there. Um, so we have glass damage right here. So that's a piece of glass there. This glass isn't bad. And this is, I think, where it was rubbing up against the tree. What do you think of it, Jack? It's not that bad. <laughs> oh, come <laughs> Oh my god, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. Oh. Sit, I'm gonna try to sit inside. Let me see what. 
I'm speechless. Like, this is crazy to me. On the 720, this is all part of the door, so you actually get in uh, easier. But on this car, it's not, so you gotta... Ugh. Okay, this might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It smells moldy in here. Uh, and I believe everything here has been underwater. Um, they've cleaned it up a little bit for pictures, uh, but you can tell that there's definitely some water ingress. There's the buttons for I-Pass and DRS. All the buttons feel fine. Everything here is carbon fiber. Like the whole, the door that you can tell everything is just, it's a, it's a very special, special car. I found a little straggler from the, so. Hello, oh, there you go. I should give this to somebody. So the glass broke here and it went everywhere. So there's glass in the engine bay. But if you, Jack, come here. If, if you look down there, they're like, it's dirty, but I don't, I don't see there being a ton of corrosion. No, surprisingly not. It's just a lot of sand. Yeah, you can, like, I, I, I think this comes off. The cheaper bolts rusted, but like the other stuff, the, the higher grade bolts don't. Yeah, these rusted. are, these are all fine. So actually the, the water line I mean, I don't know where the water line would be because there's not there's not like a, a clear separation. It, it looks like this whole thing was was underwater. Yes. And uh, uh, look, roof look at that roof scoop. It's uh, this thing got got mangled. So this will all need to be uh, taken off. And I don't think you could take this off. I think this would have to be redone on the car. On the car. As far as body work, this is gonna need some work. This is gonna need some love. This is this is looking like the Ferrari. Like there's not a single panel on there that was no. good. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Like it's this car was two and a half million dollars. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, They're not doing that to this, right? Oh my god, yeah. Holy crap. How did That's, that happen? That's from the, uh, the guy who pulled it out of the, out of the spot, I guarantee. There's no hole in there. Tire. There's no hole in the tire. That's okay. Well, those those tires aren't good. We have to put on dollies then. Yeah. You know what we can do? There's <laughs> a chain. There's your chain mark. That's yeah. a chain puncturing through. It's like those things that you get at uh, like the convenience store near the ocean. Still got part of the ocean. Right. In there. <laughs> it's all in there too. It's the beach. It's the beach. Right get near the beach. Get the sand and everything. <laughs> all right. So, in theory should be able to get this under here and jacking yeah, pad right here. Come on. Right there. That was the door. Okay. Wait, that looks like a jacking pad. It's gonna be a little bit of a musical chairs thing, but I can lift it up enough that we can put a wheel dolly under here. Okay. Do we only have two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's going on under there? Nothing. Nothing good. Should nothing we, good. Should we look? I'll I'll show you when we get the wheel dolly under there. It's... <laughs> oh, buddy! Watch your hands. There you go. Okay. So I got the owner's manual, which looks kind of like a Bible, and uh, maybe it could tell me how to open this thing up. Okay, general, opening a door, locking a door, closing a door. Let's opening and closing. Let's just let's just go to that. Uh, this all assumes that the car has uh, not been flooded. Is there a safety catch release? What's that? 
Oh, there's a there's a keyhole right here. Aha! Just so happened, I got the key. Check this out. Dude, if this works, start right up. Drive it up. This is gonna. Well, this won't. This won't have, <laughs> have been open since the flood, so this is gonna have water in it. There it is. Wow. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Oh, oh. dude! <laughs> Dude, look at that. Damn. Oh, that's a <laughs> smell. Water. That's a smell. Oh. Oh my goodness. Hey, the, the hood struts work. There's a fire extinguisher and is this, what is this? First aid kit. That's gonna go for some money. That's, that's not good. Um, oh, you know, it's probably gonna be in here. I think the, what we're looking for. Maybe. See, Doug DeMuro would really geek out at something like this. This is like finding stuff on a shipwreck. Yep. It's like a exactly Titanic right. all over again. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that broke off, but it's okay. There's a little tool set. Tire weld. I don't think we're gonna need that. Ha-ha! There it is! So we just push this into here. Dude, I mean, this is fine. <laughs> this is totally good. It's gonna roll like a champ. This is, it's no problem. We drive this thing out of here. Oh, we could drive it home. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Everybody in. So situation report, this has rear tires that are completely flat because one of the wheels has a hole in it and then one of the tires has a hole in it. So we have about half an inch on either side to put on the wheel dollies, but the wheel dollies won't go on unless we put wood underneath them. And we figured this out on the other side, we've made like a little wooden ramp and that wooden ramp will allow us to go a smooth transition up to the trailer with our come along and I'll be inside and manning the brakes, but we don't have enough wood. And we're gonna have to do this like inch by inch because this is as much room as we have. If this falls off, then we're screwed. Now let's do a quick tour of the inside of the McLaren P1. So here you have the iris screen. Uh, this is uh, pretty cool, it's an infotainment thing doesn't work. Uh, we have our uh, climate control. That's all broken. This is pretty cool because this little uh, yin-yang sign is the top of the McLaren Technology Center in Woking. So that's interesting. Uh, all these guys, they, they don't work. This is uh, the uh, handling and powertrain and you can make it go into all these cool modes. And down here you have launch, race, and boost. And what that means is you have electric boost here. This is race mode, which lowers the car two inches and launch makes the car launch. Down here, oh. Down here you have drive neutral reverse, just like in any other McLaren and the parking brake. But on the steering wheel is where the magic happens. This is DRS. This is the drag reduction system, which means that when you're at speed, you press this button and then the wing just goes flat like that, which is awesome. And then you have the I pass button, which means I pass everything in the road. That's a terrible joke. So this is uh, actually uh, an extra boost that you get with the electric motor uh, when you're at speed. So if you hold that, then the car just uh, decides that you want all 903 horsepower and that's exactly what you're going to get. Oh boy, this, this is going to be a project, a big one.
This thing is trashed. I don't think there's any good panels on it at all. Or maybe the hood. I don't know if they used forks on the top of this, but it's a giant dent. It's a nice interior. Oh, it smells terrible. Roof is crunched. Bumper's falling off. Looks like that was water line, maybe. More damage over here. What a shame. Woo! Cannot believe I'm next to my McLaren P1. I'm still still shaking, partly because I'm dehydrated and tired, but in large part because this car is so absolutely fantastic. Now, this looks like the biggest project in the world, and that's because it is. When I take everything off here, it's gonna be just, it's a it's gonna be a mess. I'm gonna have mechanical issues, I'm gonna have cosmetic issues, lots of them, I'm gonna have electrical issues, but I am totally, totally down for everything. Now, right now, we are going to take this back to the shop. This is gonna look absolutely ridiculous going down the road. I think this is the first time a P1 has ever been towed by a Toyota Tundra. Maybe one of the first times. At, at least the first time today. Welcome to the next morning and the car is safely here at the shop. Uh, we still haven't taken it off the trailer because we were very, very, very tired. Uh, it might not look like it, but we were there all day and it was very hot. But right now we need to figure out how to take it off the trailer. But not only that, we have to make it roll. So Jack is going to take his truck and trailer, turn it around, and then we're going to try to get this off by putting on a different wheel and tire and then i'm going to have to disengage the uh, parking brake which may be seized because this car was underwater so i don't know how that's going to work but hopefully you guys will see me do it because otherwise this car is not going to be able to roll and i can't get it onto the lift and then we can't take it apart and we absolutely need to get some work done to this car because i i need to know what's under here we need to cover the window like right right here yeah yeah, do we have any tape? I, I don't want I don't want water to get in. Make this make this come this way a little bit more. Lord. More, more, more. Okay, this way. You're good? Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Uh I think I think that's probably okay actually. Okay. Do you want 
that license plate. Aha! Aha! Okay, so here's the business end of a brake caliper and rotor and uh, general braking system of a McLaren P1 in the rear. And uh, this one is a lot worse for wear, has a lot of sand and stuff in it, but the brake rotors themselves actually look pretty good, save for some corrosion right here because the pads on the parking brake seem to be seized up a bit uh, because they are made of steel. So what we're gonna do is I want to release this parking brake and it is a, uh, an electric parking brake. Now, sometimes electric parking brakes just have a servo somewhere inside the car and they pull a little cable. This has a motor inside the caliper and I am just gonna pray that the motor is still good. So I'm gonna apply 12 volts to back here. There's a little harness and then hopefully if this thing turns, and that means the parking brake can release. I can move the wheel, we can put a new wheel on there, and then this can become a roller. But before I do that, I need to make sure that this is all kind of cleaner, because I don't want anything running into the rotor, so I'm just gonna give it a good... good yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Oh, that's... Okay, all right. There's a lot of crap in here. Okay. Think we're done cleaning. Okay, it is this guy that we gotta take off and then re-energize. We have positive and negative. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't just spark. Look at that! Works. So now this should be able to turn. Make sure I don't bust my fingers. Look at that. Oh, she turns like a dream. This car is gonna roll. Awesome. This is the first time anything has powered up in this car since the flood. That, considering it was completely underwater, I know it doesn't feel like much, but that is very, very promising. Okay, let's see how bad this looks. Oh, that's, that's good. That's nice. That'll be all right. I think we just clean that off. What's really cool about all this is that on normal cars, these fender liners are uh, plastic or sometimes they're cloth. Um, this is all carbon. Everything in here is carbon. So you can tell why this car cost a million dollars brand new because they took a lot of time to get this thing together. This is not like the other McLarens where you can tell where they cheaped out. This, there's nothing, nothing on this car where they cheaped out. Other than the fact that a lot of these parts um, you can get on other McLarens. I just crapped on my own point. It's okay. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see if I can get some of this, some of this iron out. This, oh my God, this smells. This smells like a basket of farts. It's very sulfuric. Rex, are you are you okay with? Is this? Should we use this? You know what? I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put. No, nah, you gotta spray it directly. You're already doing it. You might as well. I know, but I... Just inhale the whole thing, the goodness. Okay, so it's supposed to do something to the iron here. So my thinking is these can't get any worse. So now, uh, now that my shop smells like farts, let's, uh, let's do the other one. So we, we found, a, found a picture of a Little girl, very cute little girl. Um, I hope there's no weird story attached to this. Um, I know that a lot of people got hurt and lost their lives uh, because of this hurricane. And um, yeah, this is, this is crazy. This is eerie. 
this this is sad. But I I'm I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm sure she's fine. But like it's still it's like people's homes got destroyed, their lives got destroyed. So we're rebuilding a car, but we have to remember that this is a very real event, and uh, you know we shouldn't make light of that. Okay, now we're gonna try to uh, see if this e-brake works, or parking brake rather. That's that. Don't know which wire goes where, but... Oh! It works! It works! And now we have, I will demonstrate to you in real time, We now have a fully rolling automobile. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. You know what they say, if two of the plugs are intact on your wiring harness, the whole thing's good. So we have nothing to worry about. Okay, let's get this wheel back on. Oh, we gotta change the tire, don't we? All right, so we have to take uh, two wheels and tires and make them into one usable one. On one set, uh, the tire's bad. On another set, the wheel's bad. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. So uh, which one is this? Okay. There you go. Oh, big hole. So that that's. It's, awesome. been a, it's been a long day. There's a giant hole in this wheel. So that's why the tire's good. We're gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna do the... <laughs> Alright. It's alright, we got it. We got this. Usually you have to bounce them like this. And they'll just pop off. And right? they pop, but you know what it was? The fact that it has a hole in it and it's probably like salty and stuff. And there's like debris. When you shake it around, I can hear stuff flopping around inside. Oh yeah, there's a piece of metal in there. Aha! Cool, thank you. so hard I know you guys don't like uh, the sweaty Tavares thing but this is this is real life but I have a p1 I'm very dirty but I have a p1 okay now we can see if Look at that. so now we can lower it down and hopefully get it off the trailer this only took all day. Okay. 
It's gonna go over it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. 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 That was only very scary. Okay, so that was an eventful day. Now, the McLaren P1 is in its home where it can get worked on. And in the next episode, I'm gonna show you everything wrong with that thing. I am so excited. You have no idea. So, that looks like a big project. I get excited when I know that there's a lot of problems to be solved. Um, and maybe there are really expensive problems. They're probably gonna be very expensive problems, but I wanna share that all with you. I wanna thank all of you for allowing me to do this crazy stuff. Without you, none of this exists. So thank you, thank you so much. And we have a lot more to go. So until next time, this is me reminding you guys that on cars like that, that beautiful car right there, you guys should always build them better. And to do that, you should wrench every day. This is the last, last bolt. And we should be good to... Okay, there we go. <laughs>